Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Tiff and today I'm here with a brand new series for EU4. I'm going to be playing as Jiang Su, one of the three Yurchin tribes and our goal of this campaign will be to form Qing. And there's actually an achievement for this called the Manchurian or a Manchurian candidate. So this is obviously the main focus of this campaign but also I'm thinking about maybe going for the Blood for the Sky God achievement where we as a Tengri nation, which we are, have to have Nahuatl as a Thincratic fate. Uh, so this is going to be very interesting for that we obviously have to make our way over to North America and it's more of a I guess well second goal or, or mid game or to mid game to late game goal. I don't know it, it really depends on how this turns out I haven't actually played um, as a Tengri nation before I have not played as a horde nation before uh, although I, I guess that's technically not true I did play as the Timurids but I have not um, I have not played as a step horde once all of the big changes have been made. So yeah, I'm also going, and this is why I scrolled down, I also want to go for the Pyramid of Skulls achievement, but this one is one thing that I'm just going to pick up on the way. It really depends on if there's any city uh, or any province that has at least 30 development, which probably, I mean, I don't know, maybe Beijing? Um, Beijing has 33? Okay, so this could actually work out uh, very early as well. So yeah, anyway, so this is what we're going to go for. And I decided we're going to start off as Zhang Su, simple because I believe they start off as the strongest. I, it, I might be mistaken. I don't really think it's going to matter too much because we're going to take over uh, Yeren as well as Haikshi, our rival Yurchin tribes, soon enough anyway, so it does not matter that much. We're obviously going to go for the ambition to unite the Yurchin tribes. This will give us a claim on the capital of both Yeren and Haikshi. And, um, well, once we do this, or once we win this, we're actually going to get a morale boost and a boost to manpower recovery speed, which we will highly need once we have defeated our fellow Yurchin tribes. Now, um, I think we're going to start off by trying to improve relations with the Oirat, simply because I want to get an alliance with them as quickly as possible, uh, because they could be, well, we're not going to target them for a while, and uh, mostly in most games, the Oirat actually focus on wars in the in the west so they are unlikely to you know drag us into any wars i mean basically i'm just going to take over all of this land anyways and i want them as a defensive alliance against ming now uh we have a fleet here but we're gonna have to uh well probably destroy the fleet because there's no one that we can actually sell this to ming is hostile and korea is our rival as well as yaren so yeah there's no point uh we're just gonna go ahead and sell off this fleet i do i, I guess i want to keep I guess I want to keep my my transport ships because potentially I want to declare war on Japan. Not sure if that's really all that smart, but I think if I mothball um, and well, yeah, if, if I mothball mothball my my fleet, it should be fine. Although, what what happens if I mothball them? Um, mothballing uh, will be useless and behave as the navy maintenance slider was at zero, which we have. So yeah, there's no point. Okay, we're just gonna leave them like that. We have no, we're not gonna fund our navy. Now, uh, what we can do is obviously go ahead and set up our rivals. We only have really three people to choose from, so we're gonna uh, rival our rival Korea as well as the other two Yurchin tribes because we're gonna defeat them uh, first. Then I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, raise a host, which means we're gonna get five um, cavalry regiments for zero cost and only 20% 20 uh, 20 of the uh, time. And we're also gonna get a 20 tradition general. So hopefully this is gonna be a six shock general. Yes, please. Okay, well, probably not, but we'll see. Uh, he's a three shock, three maneuver. That's not that bad. We can also roll for our ruler and make him a general as well. And he's a two, two, and he even has a siege pip. It's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, um, other than that, I think uh, we are improving relations. Yeah, we're definitely going to make Korchin our ally. Um, they might help us fighting, uh, you know, someone else. I doubt it, actually. They have rival Boratia as well as Oirat. So it's unlikely they're really going to help us, but they might. I mean, we'll see. Um, and other than that, I think I'm going to start a... Uh, uh, start the uh, spy network here in Haikshi. There we go. Okay, now that this is set up, I think we're pretty much going to get ready to declare the war. Um, we are going to go to Ninguta, which is in the mountains, but this is actually good because if I remember um, correctly, river flows between Hituala, Buduna, oh, actually, our capital, there's no river between our capital Oh, okay, so I could attack from here directly. Um, 
we would have... Okay, interesting. Good. Yes, I guess I'm going to leave my men here. And yeah, I think we can go forward. Actually, no, not right now because we still have to set up a couple things. Uh, we're going to focus on admin um, because, well, we're going to have to use a lot of admin points in order to call off these lands. Even though we will get points from raiding, uh, or from raising, I should say, not raiding. But still, that's not going to be enough to actually cover the cost, at least I don't think. Okay, you've accepted this, very nice, and we need to send our traders, obviously, so we're going to probably trade in Beijing, let me quickly check this out, uh, yep, yeah, we're definitely going to collect taxes, oh, not taxes, but collect trade here, um, yeah, there you go, and we will probably just transfer from, uh, from here, there you go, yeah, and we're going to automatically collect in the capital, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to have to wait a month before we can declare the war. So we'll wait for a couple of our cavalry regiments to actually get ready. And then I think we're just going to declare the war straight up. Really. There's nothing else I really need to do, I don't think. We could obviously get an advisor for our troops, but I don't think that would really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, he doesn't have a leader just yet. So as soon as we can declare the war, I will. Let's see actually if we could... Uh, Yeren and Jiangsu. Okay, we have a rival. Okay, that I don't care about. We cannot declare the war until 11. Okay, we need to wait uh, a couple of days. Okay, let's get our cavalry up here. Five more days and we can declare the war. I'm hoping Cochin will actually help us out. If they don't, then... Well... I don't know. Oh, they might! They might! If I give them, promise them land, they would actually go in. Okay, definitely. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to give them any land, but I'm hoping that they will actually... Actually, you know what? I'm going to let them do the fighting. And... Um, but I will have to make all of the uh, occupations. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to declare the war. Call in Kuo Chin. They're going to do the fighting. We're going to weaken them. And that means we will be able to then take over Kuo Chin ourselves, which is the plan. Okay, so he's immediately going for our land, which means I want to split off three infantry divisions. Uh, I'm now I'm talking divisions all from EU4, but you get the idea. Give our general. Okay, he's going to be too quick. What about now? Still fighting. I don't want. How about now? Okay, good. So this is fine now. Uh, we should be the first ones in the capital, I think. Kuchin has not yet honored. They have honored their call to arms. Okay, good. And he wants to fight us immediately, which I don't want. So let's actually go ahead and send in our forces just to make sure that he doesn't... He, he's still coming. He's still coming. He's going to arrive on the 12th of January. 10th. Okay, we're going to be we're gonna be there first. He's going to arrive on the 13th, 11th. Okay, so we're going to be there first. He's attacking. Foolishly stupid. Now, the problem is I was actually hoping that Ko Chin would lose their manpower, but they, they're not. That's kind of annoying, but not too bad. Hopefully, I can actually consolidate some of our infantry. Oh my god, we just wiped them. We just entirely wiped them. Very good. Um, so, you can consolidate. That actually did not get rid of all of them. Hmm, in this case, you know what? Yeah, just consolidate all of you. And we got rid of two infantry. Because I slowly but surely want to get rid of all of the infantry. Um, simply because there is no point of having any infantry here. You can, I guess, go over here. We just need to make sure that we occupy everything. Uh, split in half. Split in half. You go there. You can go here. You split in half. Go here. You go here. And we're done. That's it. That's that's it. We're done. Uh, the, the first war is won. Okay, so I think we can now stop... Yeah, building spy network here, that is utterly useless. What we are going to do, though, is start a spy network here. Now, you are allied to Ko Chin. Okay, so we're going to build a spy network here, as well as here. Now, before I actually want to go ahead and declare another war on these two neighbors, I do want to make sure that we get the alliance with Oirat. So we're definitely going to have to wait for a peace deal before we declare a new war. But still, things are definitely looking very nice. Oh, look at this. Yeren wants to declare the war. We need to get there first. We need to get to Aigun as well as Mergen before these guys actually, uh, well, can go ahead and take away my land from me. Because that would be terrible. Okay, so, uh... Infantry is here. They're very nice. You two guys, I guess I'm just going to send you over here as well. Now, good thing is, obviously, we don't have to pay for reinforcements. And we do not have to... 
no, we do we do not have to pay for reinforcements, and also we obviously get uh, we we loot twice as fast, which is great. Uh, I do think though, we, I mean, we don't have to take any unnecessary attrition, so I'm just gonna split off, split off. I guess now nah, this doesn't work. Uh, let me see this. Get you, you, and you out. Yep. I mean, there is no need to take attrition, right? If we don't have to. Awesome. Uh, okay, we still have a little bit more. So if he, if you think you're gonna attack and get anything, you are dead wrong, sir. You are dead wrong. The problem is, if I want to go ahead and declare one, any one uh, of these two, they're actually allied. You're allied to Yaren and Zhang Su, and you are only allied to Ko Chen. So that is somewhat of a problem. I was hoping, hmm, maybe Yaren declares war on Buratia. Let me actually quickly check this. You are only rival to Ko Chen. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but I doubt that he's going to... Well, he's not going to call us in because we're not going to be allies after this war. I'm going to take everything. And yeah, I promised you land, but you didn't really do shit. 8%... Actually, he might not even be mad. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's really important. In any case, we are almost at our force limit. We could build a new cavalry. I don't know if... Should I? I don't think I should just yet. I think I want to hold off for now. Uh, we can go a little bit faster. Uh, a cavalry... Not a cavalry, but our navy is in the port. Very nice. Anything else going on? Not really. I guess we also... Yeah, definitely want to improve relations with Ming as well. Because otherwise, they might declare war. Oh, and no child can be Khan. Oh, that is very unfortunate. So, uh... Okay, we lose... Ho that, that is really bad. That is really bad. Wow. Very unfortunate indeed. Uh, however, I think we will get Horde Unity from... Oh man, we've been warned. We will get Horde Unity from raising, so that's pretty good. We did lose quite a lot of stability. Holy balls. That's loads. Uh, I, I don't know. This is actually pretty bad. This is actually a pretty bad start because we are at negative stability. Stability is always... You know, losing stability is always bad. Um... But at least it doesn't affect our whole unity. It does affect our... Does, I don't know what it affects. It doesn't seem to have any facts. Other than... Well, trade power, stuff like that. Hmm. Still, we lost two stability just because of that. That's really bad. Now, we are going to full annex uh, Haichi, obviously, once we've done that. We will set our sights on Yeren as well as Ko Chin. And I wonder... I think... No, I just have to. I need to start building a new cavalry. Uh, yep, yeah, build it here. Just the quicker. The quicker, the better. Uh, we are making money here. Now, I think that once we actually raise this province, we also make money um, that is left in the loot bar. I don't know for sure, but I think this is how it is. Uh, also, obviously, we should have a look at our religion. We currently have Confucian as our syncretic fate, which actually helps us out quite a bit with our stability cost and also with admin technology so this is actually pretty good um, I like that anyways we're hundred percent and we do not have anyone uh, so let's go actually come back from the Oirat and then we'll uh, look for yeah we'll, we'll, we'll broke a peace deal here uh, lose stability oh holy balls this is really bad I don't know I don't know what I uh, gee Lose another stability? What does Hort Unity do? Uh, discipline, national unrest. Oh, this is... I think this is really bad. Yeah, this is getting... I think as, as long as it's above 50. But yeah, things are getting pretty dire. Uh, we've been very unlucky with two uh, really bad events happening so far. But, you know, still. We are taking over Haikshi uh, quickly. Uh, let's get this all of this stuff. Alright. And give me all of your money. You might have in your treasury. And, okay, Korchin's not even going to be mad. Well, of course, they haven't done shit. So it does make sense. All right, so we've taken them over. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and call all of this stuff. Uh, but before we do that, obviously, we need to make sure that we uh, raise it all. Yes. So we're going to get, we are going to get money out of this. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to get the money that's left in the loot bar. Very good. Um, 2020. 20. Okay, so this is uh, this might actually be worth it. This is 40. How much are we going to get? Uh, not exactly. But now, I guess, no. No, and I, cause it costs less. So it almost pays 
for the coring cost. Pretty good. No, 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 no. Raise it first. Raise it first. There you go. Man, this is fun. I can tell already I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Alright, so... For some reason, this is costing so much more. Why is this costing so much? War exhaustion. War exhaustion. Okay. I mean, I guess I could take it, let it tick down. This is going to be more expensive due to overextension. Alright, well, let's get our horses together and see what we can do next. Now, he has a 2-3-3 general. That is obviously quite superior to what we have, and very unfortunate indeed. Alright, well, let's get our troops together. Uh, corruption is growing due to all kinds of stuff, I see. Huh. Uh, yeah. That is obviously bad. Hmm. I think... I think we're just still gonna spend this. Yeah, just just core it now, it's fine. Core it now. We do have no points left. But yeah, once everything is cored, we will go ahead and increase our stability. Alright, let's get our troops together. I guess we're gonna have you here. Uh, you will stay here. This is one. So, yeah, cut you in half. And you can get one as well, just so we can occupy the uh, these territories that we've just conquered. Actually, you know what? If you stay here, if you stay here, you get there, then you go here. All right. Now it might be, it might be quite possible actually that there will be some uprising here. I could increase the autonomy. That would obviously help with these rebellions. I probably should. I mean, it's unlikely that these lands, although they're Manchu and Tengri. Huh. I, I think I'm going to decline that marriage right now. I do want to see, though, if we can get the alliance with the Oirat. You are at war with Uzbek. Let's get this alliance right now. Um, we might actually get dragged into a war, which I hope we won't be, but it's possible. We've, we definitely increased our horde unity by... Um, we definitely increased our horde unity by... Uh, Raising, but what we need to do now is actually find a new rival for our country But we can't well in that case I at the very least have to embargo uh, Yeren as well as Korea and Oirat is calling us into a war against Uzbek, Kazan and Golden Horde You know what? There's there's no point in me joining this because no one's actually gonna reach us No one's gonna reach us, but we will issue an embargo and we'll do the same thing in Korea, and then we're going to send insult as well. I think that's the plan. Yep, issue an embargo. Oh, and you can go over here. And I guess you can go over here as well. Alright, fine. Um, did we embargo Yaren? I think we have. We have already Korea. We have, but we could send an insult next. When can we do that? 14th of May. Okay, seven days. That's fine. Um, all right, so we've already taken care of one of these, uh, one of our rival Yurchin tribes, which is good. So we now just need to take care of Yaren. The problem is that at the moment we would have to face off against both Kochin as well as Yaren. Uh, so I don't really think I'm ready for that. So I'm hoping that they could potentially get into a war with Boratia and then we would potentially have the chance of going to war with them. Problem is, Ming has warned us and Korea. Uh, has the mission to conquer one of my provinces. Oh, that's pretty bad. Well, they're not going to do that alone. The problem is Ming might help them out. That would be terrible. That would be really frustratingly terrible. And we're also losing money at the moment. Oh, Ming, stop it. Please just stop it. So we have about 50. Very good. So that, that means we're going to get an extra uh, points. Military power. Lovely. So yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'm. we have started off good. I mean, we've conquered one of our neighboring uh, tribes already. The thing is, though, uh, I don't know. I, I'm still... I'm very unhappy that our uh, whole unity has dropped that ridiculously quick. I mean, that was that was really unfortunate. Yaren declared war on Boratia. So now my question is, are you fighting Korchin? You are. Alright, you know what I think? We need to get ready and declare war on uh, Yaren as well because otherwise they're gonna take all of the good things from us alright you know what um, 
let's get our infantry into one group and our cavalry in another. And we can build two more cavalry. I think we should do that. 100 days. That's a long time. But we'll do it still. Two cavalry will be built. The problem is... I don't know. Well, we're going to have to go forward. Uh, we do have a war target, or we have a war goal on them anyways. We have the alliance with Oirat. The problem is, if we go into another, if we get into another war right now, it might very well be that that Ming sees us as weak and declares war. I doubt, or maybe Korea. Actually, I'm more worried about Korea actually doing that. Um, but yeah, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, do you not have a leader? No, you do. 3-3. Three, three. There we go. Well, now we did lose our... Actually, yeah, probably... You know what? I totally did not think about this, but we should get um, our current ruler as a leader as well. There we go. Yeah, another shock. Actually, he's pretty good. He's a 3 shock as well as 1 siege pip as well. So I'm actually liking that quite a bit. Now, I'm wondering who I should fight first. Kuchin or... Yaren, I don't know where he has his troops. Now, since he declared the war, it's probably... Yeah, it's probably him. So, I guess I want to get... I want to fabricate a claim on... Hmm. Probably Baduna, since that's your capital, I'm guessing. That is your best. We're going to stop this here. And we'll take, we'll get a claim on, I don't know, what's your highest, what's your highest development province? Eight, six, five, doesn't really make a difference. Higan, seems like. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, oh, I can't even claim Higan? Oh, that's his capital. No. Wait, I don't know. Well, just go for this then. I apparently already have a claim on Hingan from our mission, interestingly enough. And on here as well. Alright, I see. Anyway, once we get our troops together, we should... Actually, we might want to find... We might want to fight the remainder of Kuchin's forces here. Since they're apparently winning. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna declare war on you. We're going to declare war. Yep. I think that's what I'm going to do. And you will go over here. We will take out Kochin first. Yep. All right. Let's do that. So, uh, declare war on Yaren. And I want tribal conquest Bohori. Yes. Now, I could co-belligerize Kochin. And I would like to. The, the thing is, if I do that, it's very likely that Ming is going to be able to actually help them out. Because if I was to declare war on Koch, which I can't, but if I was to declare war on Korea, right, uh, Ming would help them out because they have warned us. Now, they can only... Yeah, so I think if I make Koch and Kobolidrand, it might be possible for Ming to join in. So I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, let's take Bohori, and it doesn't really matter. Actually, it does. It does sort of may ma matter. I think I want to go for Hingan. Yes. And... No, this is conquest. We want tribal feud because that is less aggressive expansion. So we're going to go for Hingan. There we go. And I think, yeah. The cloud of what? There is 9,000 men, but it's mostly infantry. Who Are we going to do this? We're going to do this. All right, so, and uh, Kochin is probably going to help them out, I, I guess. Yeah. So let's get, get in there and uh, besiege their, their capital as well. I hope we're not going to be too late. We might be. We might very well be. Um, it really depends on where Yerenis, the Yerenis troops are. If they are going to help out here, that's actually going to be pretty bad for us. And they might. Maybe this is not the best thing, the, the best plan. I don't know where they are. Oh, but they're not here. Okay. So we could... Oh my god. If we get lucky and just wipe them, that'd be amazing. That'd be really amazing. We actually have less discipline due to our horde unity. It's really bad. Because that would help us out quite a bit. Um, but yeah, we're winning nonetheless. Okay, good, 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 good. Can we crush them? I hope they retreat somewhere south. Uh, we lost 4,000 cavalry, but lost way more. He is retreating somewhere where I did not want him to retreat to. Okay, well, I think we're going to just have to go ahead and uh, 
occupy provinces with our horsemen. And I think I'm gonna hunt him down. I don't know what Yerenes, the, the 9,000 Yerenes troops are gonna do, but I think they were up here somewhere. They were no longer here. There's a gold mine, so I definitely want to take over them as well at some point. Hmm, I don't know where the Yerenes troops are, and that worries me a little bit. Um, but there's not much I can do at the moment. I think what I should definitely do is split off three guys. Uh, so that we can actually go ahead. Uh, you go here. Split in half. You go here. Uh, yes. And there. Just besiege that. Because then that will limit their ability of, well, building new units. Uh, I do want to crush their army. I don't know where they're actually going to go. So that is a little bit of a gamble. I just need to make sure that they're not arriving from from the from our back, which they might. I, actually, it's very likely that they will. And I wonder now they they have nine thousand troops, uh, of which I believe eight thousand were uh, infantry. So they don't really have much cavalry. I think they're going here. Where are you going? Yeah, you're going to that capital of his. All right. Yeah, we're gonna take that out. I think we're just gonna go for it and siege as many things here as we can. Oh, he's actually going to. Now, if he goes over, if he if he stays in, if he goes all the way to Sechalin, I'm actually in a little bit of a bad situation. But we'll have no, no, he's come back to the capital for some freaking reason. Okay, well that's good for us. Um, now what do I do with this cavalry? Um, he's probably gonna escape us. I don't know for sure though. You... Actually, I want you here. I don't know where his army is at. Okay, he is sieging. Oh, he was. At the very least, he was. He's gonna come back soon. Um, and I don't want to have my troops too spread out, obviously. But yeah, he's not gonna escape. Good. So that means we're gonna destroy... We're gonna crush him here. You know what? I actually don't want to spread myself too thin, actually. Yeah, at least keep two cavalry regiments together. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get absolutely wiped, which means Cochin will have no army left. Good. Okay, and if we actually manage to occupy all of his provinces, which it looks like we will, um, Cochin will not be troubling us anymore. Nice. Okay, so one that's one taken care of. I guess uh, we'll have one cavalry left behind, and give me this 700 dude because we'll need him. And you're gonna go here, we're gonna take out his capital as well. Very good, very good. It seems as though Ordat are winning their war, their personal war as well. I just need to really make sure that we are not gonna get our troops destroyed here. I don't know where he has his army. I really don't know what he's doing. He might be, he might actually be sieging these guys, but I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways, you are gonna make your way here. You're gonna make your way here. And I guess you can go here, and that is all of... That's all of Korchin occupied already. Good. All right, you have occupied this. I'll let you move forward slowly, but surely. You can... Oh, we're actually taking some real attrition here, it seems like. That's not good, obviously. Um, I think... Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to go here. You know what? I think I want my infantry to then actually... What? Oh, what the heck? Oh, this must be the event. He also has the, or not the event, but he also probably um, has taken the option to raise a host. So even though we have it occupied, uh, he gets extra units. But yeah, anyways, we're going to get your troops over here. That's very strange. But I think that's what it is. Because otherwise it doesn't make sense how he gets units in occupied ter territory. I couldn't, I don't really see how that would be possible, yeah. Alright, okay, well, we're sieging here, that's fine. You're going to go to Udi. You're just going to stay there, I guess, for now. And you have sieged this. So let's go here. I'm a little bit afraid to move further forward. But we'll try it anyway. He does have more units here, I've seen it. But soon, uh, Cochin's capital will fall. This has been retaken. I don't know what he's doing. If we lose one infantry, it's not going to be that bad. Okay, we've gained a core here. I don't know where his troops are at. This is really strange. 
I th I've seen him with such a huge stack, but he's just... They just vanished. Hey, he doesn't have any troops. They must be here somewhere. I, I, I suppose they're sieging. Yeah, they're definitely... Oh, okay, so they're definitely sieging it, which is good, because that means I can actually split up my forces to fully siege him, fully occupy him. But yeah, um, I don't actually... I think I want to keep my guys here, I don't know. Um... Alright, well, guys, you know what? I think uh, we have come quite far. This was a pretty good first episode. I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. We have already taken over one of our Yurchin, our fellow Yurchin tribes, Haichi, and we're about to take over Yiren and perhaps even Korchen. We'll have to see what we're actually gonna be able to take in the peace deal, but I'm definitely thinking about maybe taking all of the border with Ming, um, just so that they can no longer you know, mess with us when we want to declare war on any of these nations. And then I'm just gonna take as much of Yiren as I possibly can, especially the provinces that I have a claim on. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me today. And uh, if you have, uh, or if you like this series so far, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, also su consider subscribing so you can stay up to date on new releases. Other than that, uh, once again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.